everybody, welcome back to another one of my videos. This is Aviation04, and today we have a very, very exciting release. We have the Gemini Jets 1 to 400 scale and 1 to 200 scale December 2020 releases. So without further ado, let's get right into them. So the first one we have is an Airbridge Cargo Boeing 777 Freighter. So um, this is just the plane livery. It's just a regular livery. Registration is Victor Golf Dash Bravo Alpha Delta. That one's very, very cool. The next one is the Concorde for British Airways. So we have not had a Concorde in quite some time. So this is very, very cool to see. Uh, hopefully they'll put some gear in the CGI image. Next up is the Delta A321 Neo. Uh, I don't know if they've just accepted that they can't fix the engines because this is the CFM mold, but they're calling it a Neo now. So this is the thank you livery and they're calling it a Neo. So that one's very interesting. I would recommend getting the NG Models one if you can still get that because that one is super nice and it's probably going to be better. So this next one is also marked as a Neo. So I don't know if... Okay, let's look at the picture first. Okay, this is a true Neo. This is the Iberia Express A321 Neo and this is a true Neo. Next one is the McDonnell Douglas uh, Lufthansa Cargo MD-11. And this one is in the new livery. So they did this one in 1 to 400 last month. So they're doing it in 1 to 200, or 1 to, sorry, they did it in 1 to 200 last month. They're doing it in 1 to 400 this month. Then the next one we have is a um, Qantas 747-400. So Qantas just retired their 747s. So this is kind of an honoring it model. The next one is one Depending on it what the mold is Actually just kidding. It's okay. It's the Southwest Airlines 737 700 in the Illinois one livery I'm not going to get this and the reason being is Illinois one has now been retired and it's been re uh, returned to its leaser so This is technically not accurate anymore. So I'm not going to get this one uh I would get it later on maybe if I had some money laying around, but I'm not going to get that. So this next one though, I am going to get. This is the, uh, just kidding, not the Illinois one. This is the Spirit Airbus A320 Neo. So this one, kind of unfortunate they did it in the new livery though, or the Bear Fair livery because Spirit is actually repainting a lot of them into the new livery which is just says spirit.com on the engines and all these scratches are filled in so it's just a solid black color and then spirit.com uh, here same thing with the vertical stabilizer but i probably will get one of these i was thinking about getting a couple but i'd like to get a couple new liveries actually uh the next one i know a lot of people are really excited about this is the uh United States Air Force uh, C-32 or also known as Air Force 2. This is a very very cool model. The only problem is with the mold. The nose is kind of pointy and the engines and winglets can kind of be hit or miss depending on what the release is. And now the last 1 to 400 in civilian is the Antonov 124. This is very interesting. And if they do it in the uh, in the other livery next month or whenever they do it, I may get that because that is a very very cool livery and it's a very cool model. But this is very nice. One to four hundred looks really good this month. It's really kind of annoying because I need it to save. But um, for last one for one to four hundred, this is the Luftwaffe. Uh, Luftwaffe or Luftwaffe, I think it is, uh, A400. So, this is a the German one. So, I think they they had a future release of one, and now that's gone. So I don't know, but that does it for one to four hundred. They look really, really good. Um, and now that I'm realizing it, speaking of this, the Antonov is sixty-five dollars for 
uh, retail price. That's the higher end. So what retailers do, Gemini gives them a lowest uh, minimum price and they give them a maximum price. So most of the time, retailers put it to the minimum price so that people will actually buy it. Moving on to 1 to 200 now, this one is less exciting um, for me anyways because I'm... One, I'm not into 1 to 200. Two, I'm not a huge fan of retros. But this one is a British Caledonian A310. Not much to say about that. Next one is the Lockheed L11 or 188. They did this one, I think they did it a month ago in a different airline. I forgot though. Um, no, they did the KLM CV34. That's what it was. And then this one they just did in 1 to 400 last month. It's the Lufthansa A340-300. They did really nice on this in 1 to 400 last month. So I hope they can carry that through. Next we have these two. It is the Northwest 747-400 in the silver livery. They did the Northwest Orient one. Um, I want to say about in February. But that was the 727. And then the next one is the flaps extended one. You can't really tell a difference in the picture, but um, the next one is also uh, another 747. It's the Qantas 747. And then the next release is also a Qantas 747, but that one is also have the flaps extended. Next is the Tui 787-9. They also did this one in 1 to 400 about a couple, was it? It was September, that's right, that's right. Um, so that one looks, it didn't look great in 1 to 400, but hopefully they'll do better in 1 to 200. And then coming down to these last two, we also have another United States Air Force. This one is the Gulfstream 550, so that looks very cool. And then, uh, oh, that's also known as the C-37B. I did not know that. Um, and then the last model of the December releases and November releases, they combine the two months. But this one is the Lockheed C-130, and this is the Hercules, or the C-130 Hercules in the Blue Angels livery. So, this release was actually not what I was expecting, and I'm kind of upset about it in a way. Because NG just did really good releases as well uh, for November. So that's kind of a lot of money I have to spend. The one I will probably be getting is the Spirit A320 Neo. I just got the 321s and you'll see that video tomorrow. I kind of just spoiled it. But um, yeah, that one's pretty cool. I wish it was in the new livery though. That's my only thing. But yeah, they look pretty good. So, the ones that I think will sell out will probably be both Qantas's, Illinois 1, the Spirit, probably not the Delta, sorry, the Delta Neo. <laughs> I'm going to check up on that later and see if it's changed. I, I can't believe that they actually put Neo there. <laughs> so, uh, that's going to do it. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. I have a few videos coming out in the next few weeks, so stay tuned for those. And with that, I'd like to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Have a great day, and goodbye.